when a young officer, Alexander, encountered a polar bear far from its Arctic haunts in the wilds of Kamchatka. He was stunned. The bear, looking gravely weakened and barely able to stand, locked eyes with him in a silent plea for help. The desperation in its gaze was palpable, and the lengths to which Alexander went to assist this majestic creature would leave a lasting impression on his heart. Despite the car heater working overtime, Alexander's hands felt icy within his thick gloves as the bitter cold seeped into his bones. His colleague glanced over, shaking his head in disbelief at the unyielding chill that Alexander seemed to feel more acutely than others. Even after years of living in the small, remote Russian village of Chik, the idle moments, especially, seemed to intensify the cold for him. Out of the blue, Alexander jolted upright and peered intently through the windshield straining his eyes to make out an unusual shape in the distance. His partner squinted alongside him, but it was Alexander who first spotted the anomaly. With a mix of curiosity and concern, he quickly unbuckled his seatbelt and stepped out into the frigid air. His partner remained inside, puzzled, until Alexander returned, his face ashen. I could swear I just saw a polar bear. Alexander gasped, his partner laughed it off. Polar bears were not native to the Kamchatka Peninsula. Their usual habitats were hundreds of miles away, but as they observed a white figure pacing in the distance, both officers were struck with disbelief. It was, unmistakably, a polar bear. Both men pondered how the bear had ended up so far from its natural environment and debated what actions to take next. This encounter was about to turn Alexander's life in an unexpected direction. Presenting a story so surreal it would be hard for even him to believe. Despite the chilly temperatures that often made his village life somewhat monotonous, Alexander cherished the breathtaking beauty of Kamchatka, with its snow capped mountains, abundant wildlife, and pristine lakes. There was nowhere else he'd rather be. Crime was a rarity in Chick, which Alexander considered a blessing, though it sometimes made his policing duties feel dull. Thankfully, his relationship with his partner, akin to brotherhood, made the workdays pass more agreeably. Yet, there were times Alexander found himself wishing for a hint of excitement to break the routine. Be careful what you wish for, they say, a saying Alexander was about to realize held much truth. He knew he must appreciate his quaint village life, despite its lack of thrills. On his days off, he often spent time hiking or fishing activities that allowed him to connect with the natural wonders around him. Even if he needed to bundle up against the persistent cold, today, layered in warm attire to fend off the bitter cold, Alexander found himself facing a rather mundane workday. The most noteworthy incident up until that point involved local residents reporting that their trash bins had been overturned. With garbage scattered all around, Alexander Riley noted that the day's highlight was merely a mess of refuse. With little else to report, the local police decided to drive to the outskirts of the town to investigate the disturbance. Upon arriving at the reported location, they encountered several trash cans that had been smashed and now sported large dents, an unusual sight that even Alexander admitted was out of the ordinary. They scoured the area for other signs of vandalism but found none. Prompting them to return to their patrol car to keep watch, Alexander speculated that the village youths, often prone to boredom, might be responsible for the mischief. He was fairly certain that if they caught anyone loitering, a stern warning followed by a mandate for cleaning duty would ensue, and a visit to the perpetrator's parents would likely prevent further incidents. As Alexander looked out across the snowy expanse at the edge of town, where the built environment gave way to a vast, endless white landscape in the distant sea, he felt the isolation of the place. Despite the onset of spring, a thick blanket of snow still covered the ground and seemed poised to remain for several more months. While his partner noted that the air was getting warmer, Alexander still felt the chill deep in his bones, and the stark white landscape offered little in the way of comfort. He adjusted the car's heating system and settled into his seat, resigned to the likelihood of an uneventful shift. He might as well stay warm and comfortable, he thought. However, just as he began to relax, his attention was drawn by a subtle movement on the snowy plain. 
Leaning as close to the windshield as he could, Alexander squinted against the nearly blinding brightness of the white expanse. Even on a cloudy day, scanning the snow for whatever had caught his eye. Initially, nothing seemed to move in the still scene. And he sat back, shaking his head. Was he so bored that his mind was playing tricks on him? But no sooner had he slouched back than another hint of movement caught his eye. This time also noticed by his partner. Fidgeting in his seat, Alexander tried to discern what his partner was staring at. It seemed implausible that anyone, especially children, would be out in such harsh conditions. Unbuckling his seatbelt, Alexander stepped out of the car, hoping that a clearer view without the windshield's barrier might help. Inside the car, his partner continued to watch the scene unfold, equally intrigued by the mysterious movements in the snow. Theories ranged from accidental transportation on a drifting ice floe to fleeing from environmental changes in the Arctic that threatened its survival. Another plausible explanation could have been the bear's pursuit of food, leading it far beyond its usual territorial boundaries due to the scarcity of its typical prey in the north. Alexander and his partner continued to monitor the bear closely, keeping a safe distance as they coordinated with wildlife experts and authorities. They established a temporary perimeter to ensure the safety of the local community, preventing any potential encounters while experts devised a more permanent solution. The sighting of the polar bear not only interrupted the monotony of their patrol but also sparked a larger discussion about climate change and its impact on wildlife migration patterns. The local media caught wind of the story, and soon, the presence of the polar bear became a poignant symbol of the broader environmental challenges facing species in polar regions. As the young officer prepared his report, he couldn't help but feel a mix of awe and a deep sense of responsibility. He detailed every aspect of their encounter, emphasizing the urgency of addressing the bear's immediate needs and the broader implications of its appearance so far from home. The report would later serve as a crucial document, aiding in the formulation of strategies to handle similar incidents in the future. That night, as Alexander lay in bed, his thoughts lingered on the majestic, yet visibly weakened, animal. He hoped that the combined efforts of the community and the experts would ensure the bear's safe return to a suitable habitat, where it could thrive without the looming threat of starvation or conflict with humans. This unusual day had turned into a significant learning experience about the interconnectedness of ecosystems and the unexpected ways in which wildlife adapts to the rapidly changing world. His mind raced with plans to help the displaced creature, understanding the urgency of its situation. In the early hours of that morning, Alexander had pieced together the polar bear's tragic journey. He concluded that the bear had likely traveled over 400 miles away from its Arctic habitat inadvertently carried along on a drifting ice floe. As the ice had melted, the bear found itself in unfamiliar territory, devoid of the usual prey it would hunt to sustain itself. Likely, the bear had been hunting on the ice when it strayed too far from its original habitat. As the sun began to rise, Alexander, fueled by restless concern for the bear's well-being, had not managed any sleep. He got into his car, Driven by a deep fear of a possible tragic outcome if the bear remained lost and unable to find food in this new environment. Having spotted the bear looking emaciated the day before, his worries had only intensified overnight. Upon reaching the outskirts of town and finding no trace of the bear, Alexander pressed on, venturing further onto the snowy expanse. He drove slowly, his eyes scanning for any sign of the bear. Then, a flash of white fur caught his attention. There it was, the polar bear, looking even more gaunt than before. Its waist was noticeably sunken, and its ribs starkly protruded, painting a picture of severe malnutrition. Alexander turned off his engine, his heart sinking at the sight. Overwhelmed with emotion, he struggled to contain his tears as he contemplated the dire circumstances of the bear. Even as he let his guard down momentarily, Overwhelmed by the situation, Alexander noticed the bear approaching his car. Fear gripped him as he realized the danger. Despite its weakened state, the bear was a formidable creature. Acknowledging his own recklessness in coming alone, panic set in. His hands trembled as he attempted to start the car but the proximity of the massive animal stalled his efforts. 
The bear sniffed around curiously, and Alexander knew any sudden movement could provoke it. He remained perfectly still, hoping the bear would lose interest. A cold nose pressed against the window, sending his heart into a frenzied beat. Avoiding any sudden moves, Alexander met the bear's gaze through the glass. To his surprise, the expected aggression was absent. Instead, there was a discernible sadness in the bear's eyes. It pressed its head against the window, a gesture that seemed almost like a plea for help. As the polar bear slowly backed away, Alexander seized the moment to start his car. He followed the bear at a careful distance, contemplating his next steps to assist the lost and hungry animal. His mind buzzed with urgency, committed to finding a way to aid the polar bear in its desperate plight. Alexander had just managed to start his car when he spotted the bear. This bear meant no harm, since a prior mishap involving a trash can, it had steered clear of the village, it seemed to be in need of a helping hand rather than posing a threat. After his narrow escape from the frosty wilderness, Alexander drove swiftly to the town, making a beeline for the local market. In a hurry, he entered the nearest shop and purchased a crate of fish, while fish was no replacement for the bear's usual diet of seals. It was a far better option than leaving the animal hungry. He then made his way back to the snowy field and carefully placed the crate on the ground. Although the fish seemed scant for such a large creature, Alexander was hopeful it would suffice. He returned to his car and waited. As expected, the bear soon appeared and began eagerly consuming the meal Alexander had left behind. Later, returning to town, Alexander stopped outside the police station, determined to find a way to safely return the polar bear to its natural habitat. He spent the morning liaising with his boss, local authorities, and environmental groups to plan a rescue operation. In the meantime, he continued to provide food for the bear, hoping it would keep the animal nourished until its relocation to Chukotka could be arranged. That evening, as he delivered another crate of fish, Alexander was greeted by an unexpected sight. The once deserted snowy field was now bustling with activity, with at least ten cars parked and people scattering piles of fish across the area. Alexander stood in awe as the polar bear moved among the townspeople, who showed no signs of fear. The bear displayed only gratitude towards the generous offerings. The officer couldn't help but smile, deeply moved by the swift spread of his initial actions and the heartwarming response from the community. Remembering the sorrowful look in the bear's eyes when it first sought his help filled him with a renewed sense of purpose and a deeper connection to his fellow residents. He hoped that all their efforts would pay off, especially given the bear's upcoming surprise that would leave the entire town in awe. With the rescue plan in place, the community continued to ensure the bear was well fed as they awaited the day of the airlift back to Chukotka. Alexander felt a comforting sense of relief, knowing the bear was in good hands. He eagerly anticipated the start of the rescue mission, a moment he knew he would never forget the moment a desperate polar bear seemed to directly seek his aid. On the day of the rescue, however, the actions of the polar bear would take everyone by surprise. Rising early, Alexander was ready to set the plan into motion. Unaware of the remarkable events that were about to unfold, the plan was meticulously outlined. The bear would be sedated, carefully placed in a specially designed crate, and airlifted back to its natural habitat in Chukotka via helicopter. The operation was set to be executed swiftly, with hopes that once back in its native environment, the polar bear would thrive, having access to an abundant food supply. As Alexander navigated his vehicle through the landscape, his mind wandered back to the surreal events of the recent days. Initially stationed in his patrol car with the expectation of catching mischievous teenagers at play, he had secretly yearned for something more exhilarating. Little did he know that his wish would soon be granted in an extraordinary way when he encountered a polar bear, a disoriented wanderer from hundreds of miles away. Upon arriving at the snow plain where the departure was organized, Alexander found a large gathering already waiting. This crowd included the specialized team tasked with the bear's relocation, environmentalists, and veterinarians, all deeply committed to ensuring the bear's well-being. The local villagers who had quickly grown fond of the bear, also turned out in large numbers to bid it goodbye. 
They had embraced the bear, feeding and watching over it with great care. The bear's plight had captured the hearts of many and had become a focal point of media attention both locally and globally. Social media and news outlets buzzed with images and videos of the residents of Chick, who had been leaving fish out for the bear as it roamed their village, inadvertently thrusting their community into the international spotlight. Despite this newfound fame, the primary concern remained the safe repatriation of the polar bear to its rightful home. As preparations to sedate the bear commenced, Alexander observed the proceedings with mixed emotions. He knew the helicopter journey, though brief, was crucial to ensure everyone's safety and to minimize stress for the bear, which seemed to intuitively understand that a significant change was imminent. The bear looked on at the gathering crowd with a solemn demeanor. When one of the veterinarians readied the sedative dart, Alexander felt a surge of both excitement and sadness. The realization that he would likely never see this magnificent animal again brought a poignant sense of loss. Tempered by the relief of knowing the bear would soon be in a better place to survive and flourish. When the sedative dart finally hit its mark, the bear initially shrugged off the effects but eventually staggered and fell to its side. An instinctive pull drew Alexander closer to the now sedated animal. As he approached, he was overwhelmed by a rush of emotions. Reflecting on the profound connection that had formed between them during the bear's unexpected visit, it was a poignant reminder of the wild and unpredictable nature of his job, which, despite its routine moments, had the power to connect him deeply with the natural world. As the majestic polar bear gradually succumbed to the effects of sedation, Alexander knelt by its side, overcome with the desire to stroke its immaculate white fur. Despite his yearning, he held back, recognizing the implications of the bear's frequent interactions with humans over its lifetime. This scenario was a poignant reminder of the widespread challenges faced by wildlife due to human encroachment and disruption. In a moment that felt almost surreal, Alexander sensed a significant weight pressing against his hand. Looking down in surprise, he saw that the polar bear had gently placed its large paw on him. As the animal's eyes fluttered closed and its paw eventually fell away, Alexander was enveloped in a mix of emotions. He couldn't be certain whether the bear's action was merely a response to the sedative or something deeper. But he chose to interpret it as a silent expression of gratitude for his efforts to help. This encounter was profoundly moving for Alexander, leaving an indelible mark on his memory. Now, we turn the reflection to you. How might you feel if you were in Alexander's shoes? Do you think the plight of the polar bear in this instance could be linked to broader environmental issues? Such as climate change? We are keen to hear your thoughts. So please share your perspectives in the comments section below. Next, there is another story. Let's continue to see it. Several years after a nurturing mother dog had found and adopted a lion cub into her care, a profoundly touching scene unfolded that brought tears to the eyes of visitors at the wildlife sanctuary. On a sun-drenched morning, the staff at the Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation meticulously prepared a special meal of cooked meat for two of their cherished residents, unaware of the dramatic episode that was about to take place, Mickey, a majestic white lion, and Camila, a caring female dog had forged an unlikely yet strong friendship that fascinated all who witnessed it. Both animals, driven by hunger, excitedly stood as they saw the staff approaching with their breakfast, their mouths watering in eager anticipation, as the meat was tossed into their enclosure. What was typically a routine of peaceful sharing escalated into a surprising display of drama. Mickey, significantly larger and mightier, momentarily succumbed to his instincts. With a powerful roar, he intimidated Camila pushing her aside to monopolize the food, spreading his vast body over the chunks of meat to claim them all. Despite Mickey's aggressive behavior, Camila's resolve remained firm, relying on her sharp sense of smell. She skillfully navigated around Mickey, determined to retrieve her share of the breakfast, her actions drawing gasps and murmurs of awe from the onlooking crowd, the tension between the two friends intensified, leaving onlookers on the edge of their seats. Wondering whether Mickey would concede some of the meal to Camila or continue his display of dominance, potentially leading to a more dramatic confrontation, the spectators held their breath, captivated by the unfolding drama between the dominant lion and the resilient little dog, as the last of the meat chunks were consumed, leaving only scraps, 
the sense of disappointment among the spectators was palpable. Feeling disheartened, Camila withdrew to a corner of the enclosure. Mickey, seeming to realize the gravity of his actions, looked on with sorrowful, remorse-filled eyes. The crowd, sensing a pivotal moment was about to occur, began recording the poignant scene. In a heartwarming turn of events, Mickey approached Camila with slow, deliberate steps, his eyes filled with regret. The audience watched in silent anticipation as the lion stood before the dog. Camila, initially upset, showed a slight wag of her tail, signaling a thawing of her initial resentment. In a tender gesture, Mickey gently lifted one of Camila's paws, bringing it towards his mouth in what appeared to be an apologetic nuzzle. The onlookers, initially fearful, soon realized that Mickey was expressing his remorse and seeking forgiveness. This unexpected reconciliation between the two animals served as a beautiful reminder of the complex emotional lives animals lead and the powerful bonds that can form across different species. The visitors left the sanctuary that day touched by the display of friendship, forgiveness, and the reminder of the importance of compassion. In a surprising turn of events that originally dismayed the crowd, Mickey the lion tenderly kissed Camila the dog's paw, offering a heartfelt apology for earlier misunderstandings. This unexpected gesture of reconciliation left the audience in silent anticipation. As they eagerly awaited Camila's response, Mickey, filled with hope, patiently waited for her forgiveness. Initially, Camila remained silent, her quiet demeanor filling the air with tension. Determined, Mickey made another gentle attempt to engage her by softly lifting her paw, trying to gauge her reaction. However, Camila, still feeling hurt, defiantly turned away from Mickey and jogged out of his reach, seemingly indifferent to his apologies. Nonetheless, Mickey was undeterred. He followed her, resolute in his mission to mend their fractured friendship. The onlookers, who had initially felt a mix of pity and sympathy for Mickey, now watched as the drama unfolded, understanding that Mickey's previous acts of selfishness had led to this poignant moment of estrangement, full of regret and having learned from his mistakes. Mickey was determined to restore the joy in their relationship, yet, Camila's indifferent demeanor left him feeling uncertain about his next steps. An observant spectator, captivated by the unfolding drama, approached a staff member with a creative suggestion. They proposed introducing another portion of cooked meat into the enclosure to test if Mickey would allow Camila to eat her fair share this time. Intrigued by the ongoing saga and persuaded by the crowd's enthusiasm, the staff agreed to the plan. They prepared a small portion of boiled meat and tossed it into Mickey and Camila's enclosure, while the crowd, now recording the scene, watched with bated breath, in a surprising display of growth. Mickey remained still, not advancing towards the food. He sat back and allowed Camila to approach the meat and eat without any interference from him. This unexpected act of generosity moved many in the crowd to tears and marked a pivotal moment in their relationship. In a heartwarming display of forgiveness and friendship, Camila took a large chunk of meat and brought it over to where Mickey sat. This gesture not only melted the hearts of the onlookers but also showcased the deep, natural bond between the two animals despite their differences in species. Mickey gratefully accepted the meat from Camila, munching on it as a symbol of their mended friendship. Soon, the tension between them dissolved, and they resumed their playful antics, enjoying each other's company once again. Witnessing this heartwarming scene left a lasting impression on the spectators, serving as a poignant reminder of the beauty of compassion and forgiveness in the animal kingdom. The extraordinary friendship between Mickey and Camilla intrigued many onlookers, prompting them to ponder how such an unusual bond came to be. Little did they know, the origins of their friendship were as astonishing as they were touching. Mickey's tail began as a small cub, nurtured by the Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation in Mexico City after a tragic start. He was left alone in the wild when poachers captured his mother, abandoning him when he was just a few months old, one fateful day. As Mickey tried to make sense of his solitary world, he was nearly killed. A conservationist named Bob was driving along a secluded road when suddenly, Mickey darted in front of his car. In a heart-stopping moment, Bob slammed on his brakes, narrowly avoiding a disastrous crash. As he got out of the car, he was met with a poignant sight. Mickey, an injured cub, was limping away in pain. Bob noticed that Mickey's hind leg had been grazed by the vehicle significantly impairing his ability to walk. Stricken with guilt and compassion, Bob realized he had to intervene, especially after he saw that Mickey was alone, his mother nowhere in sight. Approaching gently, Bob tried to suit the frightened cub. Despite Mickey's initial attempts to escape, his injuries slowed him down. 
and he couldn't flee far. As Bob drew closer, Mickey's fear gradually subsided, sensing the benevolence in Bob's approach, and he allowed Bob to come near. Bob carefully examined Mickey's leg, his heart sinking as he noted the severity of the injury, observing Mickey's frail and starved appearance intensified Bob's resolve. He knew that leaving the cub in such a state could result in further agony or even death. With a heavy heart yet a resolute spirit, Bob decided to transport Mickey to a veterinary hospital for urgent care. He gently lifted the cub into the passenger seat of his car. As they drove, Bob kept glancing at Mickey, who lay quietly, now placing his trust in the human who had extended such kindness and concern. Upon reaching the veterinary center, the medical team immediately recognized the urgency of Mickey's condition and sprang into action. Their compassion was evident as they swiftly attended to his wounds. Touched by the plight of the injured lion cub, this moment marked the beginning of a remarkable journey of recovery and friendship, rooted in an unexpected and dramatic first encounter. X-ray scans revealed that Mickey, a young lion cub, had suffered a dislocated bone. Fortunately, the injury did not require major surgery. The veterinary staff at the animal care center managed to carefully realign the bone and administered the necessary treatments to facilitate Mickey's recovery. As he recuperated, an unexpected and heartwarming friendship began to blossom. During his recovery, Mickey caught the attention of Camila, a young dog who had recently experienced a tragic stillbirth. None of her puppies had survived, and she was brought to the same veterinary center for medical care, despite her own grief. Camila seemed to find a sense of purpose in caring for Mickey. She approached the lion cub with a mix of curiosity and warmth that transcended their species and size differences. Camila and Mickey quickly formed a unique bond. They spent time together, providing companionship and comfort to each other during their stay at the center. Camila, who had a remarkable knack for sensing when others needed emotional support, often initiated play with Mickey, bringing a visible lift to the cub's spirits. As they grew closer, they began to spend their nights curled up together, finding solace in each other's presence. With Camila by his side, Mickey's recovery seemed to accelerate. She was careful during their playtimes not to hurt his still healing leg and was always attentive to his needs, offering emotional support that was crucial for his healing. The veterinary staff were deeply moved by the bond that developed between the lion and the dog. Often discussing the unlikely friendship with both astonishment and admiration, however, this beautiful companionship faced a challenge when it was time for Camila to be moved to a shelter. With the hope of finding her a foster home, the staff believed this separation was necessary, but they underestimated the depth of the connection between Mickey and Camila. When Camila was taken away, Mickey's behavior changed dramatically. He became withdrawn, refusing to eat, play, or interact with others. His profound sadness was evident, as he constantly searched for his friend. Similarly, at the shelter, Camila was heartbroken. She showed little interest in interacting with other dogs or engaging in activities. Consumed by her sorrow, she too refused to eat, deeply affected by the separation from Mickey, recognizing the impact of their decision. The veterinary and shelter staff soon realized the mistake of separating Mickey and Camila. They acknowledged the exceptional bond the two had formed and understood how vital they were to each other's well-being. Efforts were quickly initiated to reunite Mickey and Camila, hoping to restore their spirits and continue their journey of healing together. The story of Mickey and Camila underscores the incredible and often unexpected connections that can form across different species, highlighting the profound capacity for empathy and friendship in the animal kingdom. The well-being of Camila, a dog, and Mickey, a lion, was of paramount importance to the staff who cared for them. They carefully considered the unique circumstances of each animal. It was evident that Camila would likely flourish in a foster home environment where she could receive the focused care and love she needed. On the other hand, Mickey, being a lion, naturally belonged in the wild, his rightful habitat. However, the staff recognized the deep bond between the two and understood that. For their emotional well-being, a temporary reunion was essential before a more permanent solution could be found. When Camila was reintroduced to the animal center where Mickey was housed, her initial sadness gave way to joy as she became aware of her surroundings. Her transformation was palpable, and she began to exhibit signs of happiness. Similarly, Mickey, who had been visibly disheartened, brightened up dramatically at the sight of Camila. He leapt towards the front of his enclosure, roaring with happiness and pawing at the bars. As if trying to reach out and embrace his friend, Camila reciprocated with joyful barking and an energetic wagging of her tail. 
clearly overjoyed at their reunion, the emotional scene deeply affected the staff, who witnessed firsthand the profound connection between the dog and the lion, at a subsequent staff meeting focused on determining the next steps for the unusual pair. It became clear that separating them again was not a viable option. The bond they shared was too significant to disregard, rather than sending Camila to a foster home and releasing Mickey back into the wild, the staff decided on a different course of action, after careful consideration, they chose to relocate both animals to the Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation in Mexico City, this sanctuary was selected as an ideal place for both Mickey and Camila to thrive while keeping each other's company. The foundation provided all the necessary resources for them to lead a content and fulfilling life together. A few days later, Mickey and Camila were transported to the foundation to start a new chapter filled with love, companionship, and the promise of a brighter future. Visitors to the foundation were deeply moved by the story of Camila and Mickey's friendship. Many were touched by the emotional narrative and the profound connection between the lion and the dog. Witnessing their story firsthand shifted visitors' perspectives on animals, highlighting the unique bond that can form between different species. Some visitors who observed the tender moments shared between Mickey and Camila were brought to tears, reminded of the universal language of friendship and affection that transcends species boundaries. Visitors to the Wildlife Foundation captured endearing moments between a lion named Mickey and a dog named Camila and shared their experiences on social media. They posted a series of photos and videos showing the interactions between the lion and the dog, each accompanied by captivating captions that highlighted their unlikely friendship. These posts quickly gained viral status, resonating with millions of animal lovers across the globe. As these posts circulated more widely, they attracted substantial attention and engagement from a global audience. Numerous viewers left comments sharing their impressions and feelings about the strong bond between Mickey and Camila. This outpouring of affection turned the heartwarming scenes at the foundation into a viral sensation, touching the lives of people who had never even met the duo in person. Despite their newfound fame, Mickey and Camila remained blissfully unaware, continuing their playful behavior at the foundation. Their enduring friendship and the heartwarming interactions not only warmed the hearts of millions but also challenged common perceptions about the nature of wild animals and showcased the profound connection that can form across species. This touching story is a testament to the incredible bonds that can form between animals of different species. Have you ever seen or experienced a unique bond between different animals? We'd love to hear about it in the comments section below. Thank you for tuning in and we look forward to sharing more inspiring stories in our next video.